guys, it's me, Zimzilla, and this isn't what I usually do generally. Um, what we're working with right now is I'm just going through Daikaiju Daikison right now because the theme of the video is going to be hopes and dreams for Daikaiju Daikison versus. So, of course, I've already gotten my own character in the game, Zogre, right here. But I also want to just talk about the game in general because outside of my own character, I do care about the future of this game and I would like more people to play it because it is a fun little pastime that you can have as a kaiju fan. So I would say the first thing I really hope for to see in the game is um, another map. Right now you have one map which has two different versions of it, a night and a daytime, and then you have this map right here. So. I really do hope that we see at least maybe one more map in the next update because I think that will indeed spice up some of the battles here because I would say generally um, if I just want to play on my own this map right here is the map I usually go to just because I think it's a little bit more open and just kind of allows me the freedom to kind of like just do my own thing while I would say the other city both its nighttime and daytime variations I just feel are a little bit more claustrophobic. So hopefully we get like another map. I know that like currently Antarctica is one of the horde mode maps. I'm not sure why that isn't in versus mode. So I think it would be nice just to have that as another versus environment. But um, that's just me and even if that is not the next map that is added at least we do get another map of some kind because I think it would do the game a lot of it would it would help the game tremendously if we did get to see another um, map added just for variety sake but the next thing I want to see added to the game is the mode or not really a mode but options to uh, remove military or events from versus mode so like even right now you just saw um, me uh, fight against Zetal as well as Hadagar but um, you could also see that there was some military folk there there was a little Mazer tank that usually appears on both sides of the arena and they obviously do hurt you a lot I can't say how many times specifically but I have been killed a number of times by the military i think maybe a few more times than i would care to say but it's just i do think that in, if you're just trying to grind gamma coins like i am right now it can be a little annoying if you're about to fight a monster and then out of nowhere a mazer tank or the ship that does come in sometimes once you've played for like a few more minutes than need be because in a lot of cases when I'm doing verses, I want to try to kill these characters as quickly as possible. So that's why I use Ogura or I use someone like Draco who I'm a little bit more comfortable with their movesets. So I'm able to just sort of kill them pretty quickly. And that's why I fight against um, my son Rotoki or Monkey because both those guys are a lot more easier to kill. Generally, it's a Monkey being the easiest to kill. And although Proto Gamma or Proto Giga is a little bit more easier to kill, he does not drop Gamma Coins in versus mode. So, I would say uh, remove military and the events because I think it just allows people to play the versus mode in peace. And just having the options in versus mode to be a little bit more module in general, like maybe um, health sliders or energy sliders, just so people can play, have a little bit more freedom in how they play. Like if people just want to spam super moves all the time and not like have rewards, um, that would be a pretty cool idea. Like. If we have a modular options in how we play versus mode, then I think the creator can uh, cause that to remove gamma coins in terms of pickups. Because if people just want to play and they're not really interested in collecting the gamma coins and they just want to have wacky settings, then just let them have uh, wacky settings. And if they don't get rewards out of that, that's their prerogative. If they want to get rewards and they play due to certain settings. But if people still want to get gamma coins, but they don't want to deal with the events or get killed by the military randomly, then I think it is fair that having military turned off would be something that is worthwhile having in the game. But right now I'm going to switch over to uh, doing some horde mode, uh, so I'm just gonna do, or the survival mode as it's called right now. So I'm going to be playing right now with Zogura myself. And yeah, you know, I was gonna do a tag team with uh, Draco Zul. So me and Andreas are gonna be playing together, technically. 
But I think the next thing I'm going to say that I would love to see in this game is more options for health pickups. This specifically relates to hard mode, even though like right now you can just see how quickly I just killed that Predo Giga. After a while and you've been playing through the mode for quite a, lo a lot of time and you've dealt with maybe two, three bosses, your health's gonna be pretty low. And if you don't know where um, certain bot, like where that plane, the sort of blackbird looking plane that kind of flies around and does shoot you, it can be kind of challenging to get through later modes because you're, you don't have any more health at that point. So what I'd recommend is there maybe if he's able to implement this, have a percentage chance for Proto Giga to drop health of their own. Like, so right here, see this plane right here? Let me try to, let me try to destroy it right here. So yeah, right here. So this is a normal health pack. And now that I picked it up, I am back at full health, but like that plane does not spawn for a while after this and you still have to fight for um to get the health like that's not just a simple health pick up you not only have to avoid its lasers you have to make sure that you don't die from a boss if a boss is chasing you so it's not a guaranteed health pickup in any way shape or form so at least having another way to gain health back would be, I think, welcome generally. But another thing I would also generally say is um, working a little bit on more on the AI not being able to like kill you. Uh, you just like right here, Draco's laser is able to hit me, and I can hit Crepelli right here, and he's able to hit me. It does. You could say it helps to balance out like you ganging up on bosses and beating them, but like I am still hurting my allies and it does feel generally like I have less health than my allies. And right now, he's just hurting me. He's not even hitting the boss. So like I would appreciate it if I don't get killed by my allies accidentally because it's happened more times than not. And right there, there's a new enemy. And I have to go looking for health because not only did I just uh, lose all that health in that battle against Ritoki, but I lost a lot of health from Grippola just spamming his moves against me. So it'd be much appreciated if allies stop being able to kill me or even hurt me generally. Because if they're allies, in this case right here, I should just let them take care of it because right now I'm about to die. I can deal with the protogamma through my beams and stuff and they're gonna die easily but if a ship comes and I want to get my health back there's a good chance it's probably gonna kill me because I have lost all of this health so please uh, I'd be appreciated if we find more options to be able to deal with health and allies not be so right here see and there you go see military just killed me so if there's another way for us to get health drops, I would most definitely be appreciative. But that's essentially like my main things I would want to talk about in terms of like what to do, what I'd want in the game. There's a new stuff that's going to be available. Like the whole thing's getting overhauled. I've helped with the English for like some of the descriptions because on the bottom left, there's going to be. There's going to be story mode, there's going to be boss rush modes, the special modes, like all of this is going to be changing soon, but I'm not sure whether or not like issues with health, enemies or allies being able to attack you, and all of what I've just said being something that's probably going to be changed soon, but I just want to make this video so that the creator knows that this is something someone who kind of plays the game regularly has on his mind, but I'd say that's all guys, without further ado. I am Zimzilla, and I will see you guys next time.